Okay, I'm doing three things and I'm gonna get out of here for today. First, I wanna show you, I'm just going to scent my scarves that I've washed out with onion. I mean, not onion, honey. I'm smelling aloe vera <laughs> with some orange essential, mm, it smells so good, orange essential oil. And I'm gonna put these in the dryer, but I want my scarves to be smelling like oranges. It smells good. Okay, I'm going to toss those in the dryer. And I'm actually going to add some orange. I like the smell of lime too, but I'm going to add orange to my aloe, aloe gel. So I've already taken my aloe gel. I cut down the sides, cut the thorns off, and then just sliced them into four pieces. This is the fourth piece. I'm just going to save this, put it in the refrigerator in case I need it for something. And then I sliced the uh, pieces in half. And I'm just going to scrape the gel. Scrape the gel off. Let me give you a better view. Off the leaf. You just, you know, you just spoon it out. Okay, there it goes. And then I'm gonna just whip it up, okay? You just Put it in a bowl and whip it and put it on my hair. I don't want to make this video too long. It's slippery. <laughs> oh my goodness, but there, there we go. Okay. Gooey, gooey, gooey. Gooey gooey. I'm gonna put some orange essential oil in there. Got 10 drops, something like that, okay. Let me see how fast, if I stop talking, how fast I can do this. Well, listen, it's a little slippery process, okay? So I'm just gonna continue this off the camera because it's gonna take up too much time. But you get the gist of it. Okay? Whoop, honey, I'm about to make a mess, have a wreck over here. All right, now I feel like I need to wipe my hands and rinse them off. Let me show you my hair, honey, and try to, and I'm telling you, after even, I, you hear all that water, I just rinse, it still, it has still has slipped. I'm gonna have to find me something that I can keep in my hair that will not, that will not do damage to my hair that will just allow it to stay moisturized. I don't want anything that has too much protein, but I do wanna do, that's what I should do. I wanna do a strand test to see if, see I've added something else to this video. But I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna use this container. I want to see if my hair is, I've never done this before, if it is low porosity or high porosity. If I say take some water, all right, I'm going to show you what my hair looks like. I keep a plastic cap on to keep it from drying out so much, but you see how it looked better when I had flaxseed on it. It's dried, very dry right now. But I just take the twist out. Let me get it, let me snatch some hair from somewhere a strand there's a strand okay there's a strand i'm gonna put it in the water where did it go okay where did it go Okay, maybe it, it might. Okay, so if it supposedly, if it floats, you have low porosity hair. And if it sinks, it's high porous, okay? So mine is floating. Let me take a, a strand from a different section, somewhere in the back. I 
out. There's a strand here. It's hard to see. Okay. There's another strand. Both of them are floating. Okay, so maybe that means something. But before this video gets any longer, <laughs> I'm going to take, oh, I want to show you. Okay, this is how my hair looks. This is how, I, I just don't think it looks, you know, it needs some conditioner. It needs something on it, okay? But this is how my scalp looks. This is my month wash. See if I can get another part because let me show you my scalp. There's my scalp. And of course, that's my part down the middle. But yeah, it, it's a little, you know. All right, so I'm going to apply this. Well, let me show you this too. Now, I feel like I need to cut about two inches, two drawn up inches, which will probably equal about four straighten, stretch inches. Sometimes I feel like that because it's just, I don't know. I'm going to cut some of my ends, but I'm waiting for my hair to dry. Like my sister Gray Beauty says, but I'm just going to start... I'm gonna start at the top and I'm trying to look at my ooh, my time. Yeah, my hair, like I said, it feels it feels like nothing's in it. I don't like the feeling. I don't want to put this on my scalp. I'm trying to put it on my hair. So I try to start at the top so it would if it drips, it drips down. We'll see what this does okay maybe i need to get me some uh, marshmallow root i believe it's what a slippery am or something but i'm gonna have to figure it out i love the way the flaxseed gel feels in my hair so if i don't like the way this turns out i'll be putting the aloe vera juice in there and if i don't like the way it feels if it doesn't feel better than the flaxseed gel felt, that's what I'll be using to set my, my hair. I'm not thrilled right now with the feeling of this as far as conditioning my hair. I really don't feel slip. I feel a little grain, so maybe I didn't strain it well enough. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> See this right here? I just, I feel like I need gel. Some type of natural hair gel. Jelly substance. Like the ooey gooey stuff. But this is what, this is what I'm working with right now. So I am going to make sure I part my hair differently. This month i've tried to finger detangle but this to me doesn't give enough slip as far as a conditioner would for me to really detangle it see how i feel like i need to cut off <laughs> and i know i did a chop before i feel like i need to cut off this much of my hair i do i feel like i just need to go and it will feel it will be so much more manageable let's see where it would be if i cut it off it will come to right there i have a little bob but anyway uh that's what i'm working with that's what i'm working with so let me see about this omelet conditioner all right when i see you again i will probably have rinsed this out of my hair have already applied my aloe and my oil and Probably have my hair in band two knots and sections with my edges laid down with my flaxseed gel. All right. Have a great day.